Hi everyone, this is Farah and welcome to my channel. I am so happy to have you guys here today because I'm going to be sharing with you my five essential necklaces. These are necklaces that I really think you're truly going to love because they're so versatile and they can be worn for so many different occasions. Everything from work work, casual, formal, nights out, I really think these are such essentials to have in your wardrobe. Now I did a video not too long ago where I talked about my five essential earrings and I'll have that video linked down below if you haven't seen it, but so many of you guys liked that video and commented for me to share my other jewelry favorites, so today I'm going to show with you all my necklaces. Um, I really love jewelry so much. I just think jewelry is such a fun accessory to have and can be very special as well. I specifically love fine jewelry and yellow gold jewelry. I just think yellow gold goes so well with my skin tone. Um, I've always loved yellow gold, so the pieces I show you will be yellow gold. However, if you love silver or rose gold or two-toned, um, definitely whatever metal you prefer, go with, but I will show you the basics that I really think are essential to have in anybody's necklace collection. So let me get started. The first necklace that I'm going to show you is going to be this one. Now this is a really dainty necklace. It's just tiny, small little gold balls that are just linked together in this chain. It's so pretty because it brings a lot of nice detail to the neckline. So if you see this, if I put this on, you almost don't notice it at first. It doesn't really stand out. But when you're moving and talking, I think that extra little bit of light that hits the neckline just brings that added sparkle. And I just love that. It really is a good layering piece. It can be worn with a lot of the other necklaces that I'm going to mention today. but. It just brings that little extra sparkle around the neckline that can thing just bring that little extra light to any outfit so i love it for this reason and today i put my hair up so it would be hopefully easy for me to get these necklaces on and off now the next necklace i'm going to show you is another dainty piece this one is a little thin gold chain with a diamond tiny little diamond right in the center I love this one because this one, just like the one before, again, is not this huge statement piece around your neck. Instead, it's a more subtle sparkle. So this one, as you can see, the chain is almost invisible. It almost blends into my skin tone. So it just looks like that diamond is just floating there. And oftentimes it may not be visible, but then when the light hits it, it just sparkles. And I love just that little extra sparkle along the neckline. I'm a big fan of just diamonds, of course, but just little subtle hints of it I think is also really nice to have so it's not so bold. So love, love this. I think it's very pretty, very, very pretty. And both the last necklace that I showed and this one can really be paired together um, for even just a little bit extra sparkle around the neck. Now the third necklace I'm going to show you I think is a very special one. It's special because it is a personalized necklace. Um, I think just having something personalized to wear around your neck just gives a really good feeling, just warming to the heart, having something close to your heart. Um, I specifically love the initial necklaces. So I have an initial necklace of my own that I'll show you. So this is just a nice gold chain with several different initials on it. I've got an N an F for me, an S, just kind of to symbolize my family. Now there's different types of initial necklaces or some where there's a chain that has a letter directly on it or like with little diamonds. I like the little gold discs um, just because I like that this necklace, unlike my other ones, had some movement to it. When I'm moving, this necklace kind of moves along with me and all the little gold discs just kind of sparkle. And this is a good piece, I think, to also be like an icebreaker of some sort. I've had so many people come up to me and say, oh, you know, what's, what's that mean on your necklace? You know, what does that stand for? Who is that? And just kind of going through talking about my family members. Um, it's always a nice reminder, you know, in the day to kind of be able to have that um, little bit of sparkle around your neck that has that extra little bit of symbolism. So I love that. I think the initial necklaces are so pretty. And this one hangs a little bit longer than some of the other ones I was showing you. And I love that versatility of it too. So having something personalized around your neck, um, especially when it's just initials or a letter that spells out something, a name of somebody special, your name. Um, I just really love that. I think that is another essential to have. 
Now the next necklace that I'm going to show you is a pendant necklace. So these can be in many different types. I'll show you a couple examples of what I mean. So the pendant necklaces are ones where there are just a little bit more statement. So I'll show you this one. This one is a gold necklace that has a little floral detail in the center. But it's on a pendant, so it's just free floating on the necklace. But these look really nice, just worn around the neck, especially with like V-necks like I'm wearing. So if you see that, it's just really, it just really that V kind of brings that detail down and just highlights the neckline. So I love pendant necklaces like this. Another one I'm going to show you is just a pendant with a stone on it. Now, I have just a diamond on here, but you can have a ruby or an emerald or a sapphire, your birthstone, you know, there could be a different, different stone on there, but just a big pendant like this. Diamonds are, of course, nice because they don't have that color, so they don't really clash with anything, can go with everything, but you can see how beautiful that looks. But it's more about that long neckline down. Now, I could even pair this with the other necklace that I had earlier. You can see that looks really pretty, just kind of layered together, two little bits of sparkle. Um, so having just a pendant like this works. I even have another example where I have a little bit of a larger cutout pendant something a little bit more interesting. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. It's like a little picture, but you can see how it's cut out. So it's really pretty along the neckline. This one's a little bit larger than the other ones. And the necklace is also a little bit longer. But it just brings that little extra interest down on the neck. And again, can just catch the light. So just having a pendant necklace from a small little coin uh, pendant to an actual stone, diamond, gemstone, or something a little bit larger like this, or even lockets I think are so beautiful. I don't own a locket um, currently, but I just think lockets that you can open up that kind of fits, you know, not only personalized, but also having a pendant, which I think is really nice as well. So love that. And then the last necklace that I'm gonna show you I think is something that can be a little bit more dressy. So this is a long, sparkly gold necklace. So basically a long necklace. Mine kind of has little hammered discs all along it, but even one that's just long that just has some kind of pendant at the end of it would be nice. But the reason I love long necklaces is for certain things especially if you have like a crew neck shirt and you want to just provide some detail, a longer necklace can bring that sparkle all the way down. Just let that eye travel all the way down. So it really brings the interest down and it's really nice to layer. So if you were to layer this with the other gold disc that I was showing earlier, this one, that's also really very pretty, just to have those two together. Or that initial necklace that you'll often find me wearing go really, really well together. So you could even wear and layer multiple necklaces, but I really do like this one because it gives that length um, and just kind of lets the eye follow down. The other thing with these longer necklaces that are nice is that they can be double dubbed. So you can kind of double it around the neck if I were to do that. So when you wear it around the neck, you have more of a statement necklace. So this is nice for when, right now, like this outfit that I'm wearing, which is just a simple cream white shirt. It's just totally changed. It's just like I'm dressed up and ready to go out and, you know, enjoy a night out because it just brings all that extra detail around the neck. So it really dresses things up. So I love the versatility of this. That not only can it be worn long, but it can be doubled up, sometimes even tripled up to create more interest around the neck. So love this piece. 
This is one of my favorites as well. And again, it can be layered with some of the other things. So that is it. That is all the necklaces that I really think are such essentials to have. My five most essential necklaces that I really think are such staples in any wardrobe, especially like a capsule jewelry wardrobe. Um, let me know what you guys think, if you really agree with this, or if you really think there's maybe certain necklaces that you had that I might have not mentioned. I would love to hear that. Um, out of the five that I mentioned, what would be your favorite piece if you had to pick one? I love all of them and I really rotate and wear all of them and layer all of them, so I absolutely love them all. But if you have a favorite one, I would love to hear what it is. Um, please Please check out my other video with my five essential earrings and if you love this video I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up and please subscribe I would be so so thrilled to have you back for my next videos if you would like me to do other videos on my other essential uh, rings or bracelets like I said I love jewelry love rings earrings necklaces bracelets the whole deal. Um, so I would love to be uh, doing that as the next videos to come. But hopefully you guys will subscribe and come back to watch more. I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching today and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.